Hey, this is PJ with CLK Supplies. Have you ever been in the middle of cutting some keys for a customer and they ask if you can stamp some letters or numbers on them when you're done? Maybe it's a service you offer for free to your customers. Maybe it's a service you offer as a upcharge, as an upsell. Either way, it's great. But the question is, is when your customers get the keys after you're done with them, are they gonna look professional? Are they really gonna represent the professional you are that they came to to get the keys cut? Now, I have to admit, I've stamped some keys um, in my time that pretty much looked like I was blindfolded when I was doing it. Something I wasn't proud of, and you know, I'd sit there and I, I grab these the stamps, right, and I grab the key and I get it, try to get it lined up perfectly, and I hit it and I look, and I either didn't hold it perfectly square, or it's a little up, or it's a little down, and it's like, well, I don't wanna cut a whole new and waste a whole perfectly good key. And you know, kind of go back and forth, and I mean, there's been some times I think I, I should have charged, but I didn't because I was just kind of embarrassed with how they look. The good news is you don't have to do that. You don't have to try really hard and have a bad result come out of it. You can use the HPC Stamp Aligner. This is a great little tool, and I'll give you an example. I'll show you how it works in just a minute. Now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work with any stamp that has this quarter inch shank on the 332nd and the 8th inch letters. Now, is what I've noticed is that sometimes these little quarter inch shanks on these stamps, the ones I'm going to be using today, are these uh, Young Brothers. This is the 8th inch letter and number set. I'll put a link uh, below in the, in the notes if you have any questions about it. Um, <laughs> But it's what I found is sometimes there's some imperfections in here. And so when you go to actually put them in this little um, hole right here to stamp, they won't go all the way in. And that's because there's some imperfections. So if you buy one of these jigs and you're going to be using just your existing stamp set, the Young Brothers, I think, is the most popular out there. No, you might have to do just some basic filing or grinding on here to get them to work. But let's go ahead and I'll zoom the camera in and I'll show you how it works. Now, typically, Having like a little piece of metal like this, a little stamping plate, to be able to put the key on, go ahead and grab your stamp, you put it on here, right? We align it and then we stamp it. Now that's fine if you're doing one number or one letter or something, you know, you can make it look pretty good. But if you want that real nice professional look, I'll show you how to do it here on this HPC stamp aligner. Now, the first thing I'll show you here is you can move this whole upper bearing, this whole upper um, jaw out of the way here. And you're gonna see these alignment marks, okay? Now, the center line's on both of these here. So this one right here, that's gonna be the center line um, horizontally. And then the middle line right here, that's gonna be the line for the vertical um, center line. So essentially, is what you're gonna do with this little jig right down here, is you're gonna take this key you're gonna put it in here and you're gonna align it, okay? And when you do that, is what you do is you align it to where you want and this allows you to kind of off-center it a little bit. It allows you to move it over to wherever you want. So you don't have to put it perfectly in the center for some reason if it, like, like the key shape's weird or you wanna put it off to the side because some other letters or numbers that are already on the key. So is what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to align it to where I think it's just about perfect there. I'll go ahead and clamp it down, just like that. So that's what I got right here. Let me turn it around and take a quick peek at it. A little crooked, let me move it. Okay, so now let me go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark on here with a marker where I think this line's gonna go. And just to make sure that you're understanding um, what I'm talking about here. So let me put a line there. I'm gonna put a line there. All right. So that's where those center lines come through right there on the key. So that's gonna be where the center of the key is from where I'm currently, you know, have it aligned to do. So let me go ahead and just take that, take this key out here and flip it around. Oop, I'll grab a different one because there's markings on the other side there. So I'll get it aligned just like that. Tighten it down, flip it back over. There you go. So we have that aligned. It's pretty, pretty uh, well centered there. Now is what we're going to do is we're going to flip this top jig 
around in place. Now, let me bring it in here a little closer. You can see these numbers up here, right? There's a zero, there's a one on each side, a two on each side, and a three on each side. And that's gonna help you kind of get it aligned here. And there's another little ball bearing in here, so it'll stay in place wherever you decide to turn it to like that, okay? So is what we'll do is I'll put it down here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I just grab some stamps out right here and we're gonna put on there 44HOX. Now I don't have any reason for doing that. I just chose, I just grabbed a few um, stamps and figured that works, that works good. So, so what we'll do now is what we're doing, that's gonna be five um, different spaces on here. So we're gonna go over two to the two here because we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And that's gonna give us a nice even space on the key. So what we'll do is we'll move over to the two, just like that, and I'll put it down here. I'll grab my four. Now, of course, on the stamps, there's always like a, this little tiny marking on here that um, lets you know that that's the you know, right side up. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that put in there. I'll take my hammer. Let's hit it just like that. Now, since I'm gonna do another four, all I need to do is just push this over to one. We were at two, now we're at one. So now that I have it in like that, let's go ahead and hit it again, just like that. We'll set that down. We'll go ahead and we'll move it over to the zero for the you know, third space of what we're doing. We'll grab the next stamp, which is the H. We'll put it in. Give it a hit. Now if you notice, I'm, I'm not even really hitting the key that hard. When it's perfectly aligned like this, it's much easier to um, stamp than if you're just trying to you know, hold it by yourself. So we're gonna take that H out. We'll go next to the O. We're gonna move it over to the fourth position, right there on the one. Go ahead and put that in there. Stamp it just like that. We'll go to the last, the fifth position, and right there on the two. See that right there? Put that down, grab this last, the X, put it in there, hit it. Just like that. All right, now we're done. So all we need to do is just slide this out of the way. We'll unclamp the key, and there you go. Let me see if I can get a good angle here. You can see it. So as you can see, it's a little, I mean, I probably should have went just a hair lower, but all the, all the keys or all the stamps are on the, in a nice straight line and they look great. So if you're looking for a way to professionally stamp keys and be proud of what they look like when you're done, this stamp aligner sure does a great job with that. Now I'll go ahead and I'll just pop up two pictures here. You can see one picture is one I did by hand. I was actually trying to do that. Um, you can see it kind of got better as soon as I uh, got Pat to the second four, I was able to kind of figure it out a little bit. Um, but if you can compare the two next to each other and you think about the time and the effort that takes to stamp manually instead of using a jig like this, um, it really makes a jig like this pay for itself pretty quickly. So I'll go ahead and put a link to the notes below on it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.